This is a video on how to make Turkish coffee my way. <laughs> You'll see here the Turkish coffee pot, which you fill up with, not all the way, just enough, with cold water. You'll notice uh, it's still got the oil from the previous coffee in it. Okay, uh, just enough for uh, two or three very small cups there. Okay, um, then you put the coffee in. The coffee can be just finely ground, normal coffee. Um, you don't have to use Arabic coffee. Put in two heaped teaspoons. Okay. Uh, you'll see I'm going to put in some spice as well. We'll do that in a second. Then you put in a bit of sugar, depending on your taste. In this case, I've just put in two small teaspoons of sugar. This all put into the cold water, and then I put in some cardamom, cardamom pods. I've cracked the cardamom pods so that the flavour will come out. I put a couple of those in. As I said, you can put in other spices like cinnamon. You can look them up on the web actually. Then you put it on a very low flame and you wait for it to simmer. Now you can use a variety of cups, not that one. This one is for Arabic coffee, which is green coffee. This one's for Chinese tea. And here we are, this is the cup that I'll use. So you can see it's a small cup. And you sit and wait now for the coffee to start frothing. So you can see it's starting to froth now. Uh, the reason for this is that uh, the shape of the pot will actually give the right temperature for the coffee to cook in. Um, and when it froths to the top, that is when you take it off the heat. And that's the right temperature. So, um, as you can see, it's starting to froth up there. Then you take it off once it gets near the top. Just let it settle for a second. And you put it back on for the second time. You do this three times. Once again, wait it froths to the top. Okay, there it goes again. All right, take it off. Let it settle a bit and then put it back on again. For the last time. Now you've got to watch it because it can froth over very quickly and you don't want that because that overheats the coffee and burns it. Um, okay, so there it is. Here we go. Hey. Okay, so once you've taken it off, let it settle. You can see the cardamom pot in there. You pour it out. Uh, in this case, I can make probably three small cups of coffee there. Uh, and then you taste it. Now, if you do it this way, you'll get a really nice coffee. If you do it any other way, uh, or shortcut it, you get a very bitter, and you'll turn people off Turkish coffee for life. Okay, good luck with all that.